Good morning. It is 11.55 a.m. on Saturday, November 14th, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and yes, I just got up. This is five more minutes. Oh, boy. I guess I needed some of that extra sleep. Um, I was up relatively late. Not that late, but uh, relatively late just watching movies. I watched Inside Man last night because it's one of the heist movies we're going to be watching for... Uh, watching 100 movies. Rocket is barking at something in the bedroom. Rocket, no. Come. Good boy. I don't know what it is. There's something in the closet he's frustrated by now. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so in any event, um, I, I knew I wanted to sleep in a little bit more. So, like, when I got up with Rocket for the first time around 6... I knew I wanted more sleep, and so I went back to bed, and then sure enough, here we are at almost noon. I uh, feel pretty good, though, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, you know, that sort of thing doesn't necessarily help with the going to bed on time part of a regular sleep routine, but uh, definitely helps with the sleep deprivation part. You know, like, it's, it's a, the short-term fix rather than a long-term improvement, but... Uh, so I mentioned a couple of days ago that I was uh, going to like start um, like trying to have like a 15 to 30 minute period of cleaning every day. And I've been sticking to that pretty well so far. Uh, now I've got uh, a bunch of the junk uh, removed from that back corner now. Um, you know, because I didn't, you know, I don't usually use that area for very much. It becomes easy to have it be the, uh, something's in the way, so put it there area. And, um, uh, hmm, that's not great. Um, so I, I've, but I've cleared all of the stuff, like just, you know, big cardboard boxes and, uh, that sort of thing, moved that out of the way. And so today's agenda is I'm going to get the arrow Garden started again. Uh, I have a couple of kits to choose from, and I haven't decided yet, but, you know, maybe I'll update you all uh, once I've done it. But, uh, yeah, so I've got that on the agenda today, and then uh, later tonight we're running um, more Rime of the Frost Maiden, um, and I don't really have anything else specific on the agenda for today. Um, Weather outside is kind of overcast and gray a little bit, but and and cool. I think it's probably in the fifties, which you know, like fall, sure. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at today. Uh, wow, for some some reason, I I, th I think just because I slept late, there's a little bit of a feeling in my brain like, oh, got to make up for lost time somehow. And so that means that when I look, it's like, how long have I been going? Oh, it's so only three and a half minutes or so, almost three minutes, three and a half minutes. It feels short. Oh, you know what? I'll talk a little bit about um, back a while back during lockdown madness, I uh, back to Kickstarter for some jigsaw puzzles and um, I got them now and so back now that I cleared off some space back there um, I, I set up one of them and started working on it and it's it's weird for uh, like it it's uh, part of what's interesting about it is that as a uh, as a jigsaw puzzle, it's got a sort of like unique cut to it that's based on the artwork, and so it's one of those puzzles that has a whole bunch of little funny details in it, and it's designed so that you're never going to have a piece. Well, so the idea is that you never, you always have unique images on each piece. You never have something where it's just like, okay, here's the 57 pieces that are all just totally blue, right? It doesn't have anything like that. However, there's so many little details that are similar, so you have to kind of still look close at it. Okay, so this little guy is holding up his 
hand and he's wearing a hat. So where on the artwork is that? Um, but also, here's the bonkers part. Rocket has pulled a belt out of my uh, bedroom closet. Uh, here's the bonkers part. There are pieces with straight edges that are not on the side of the puzzle. So you can't do that strategy that most everyone I know does for jigsaw puzzles, which is you find all the edge pieces first and you do the border. Because there are pieces in the middle that have the smooth edge on them. And I think that has something to do with this puzzle supposedly has some sort of a trick to it once it's done. And I have no idea what that is, except I suspect that part of what happens here is that... Um, the pieces that have smooth edges that are not on the sides of the puzzle probably become chunks that can be moved separately somehow, but we'll see. Um, in the meantime, uh, though, I'm kind of work on that a little bit here and there. It's uh, kind of relaxing, and I'll, uh, but I'll leave it there, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.